Hey everybody, it's Sir Ant from ukulele123.com here. Uh, <clears throat> this is my <coughs> fourth day of attempting to build my own banjo ukulele because I'm too impatient and broke to afford to just buy one of those really beautiful thousand dollar ones. So uh, I've ordered a tambourine ukulele from the States already, but I'm still even too impatient to wait for that. So. As you can see on the wall behind me, I've got a couple of ukes. One is my little blue uh, <clears throat> Palomar, which I bought here in China. I think it's actually a concert because it has 15 frets. But anyway, the one next to it is my old Mahalo with the tambourine that I've been kind of working on for the past few days. Um, I still haven't glued it. And I'm really undecided right now whether I want to glue it or not, s simply because... It sounds pretty cool now, but could it sound even cooler with a snazzier uh, tambourine? It's like I said, this is a $3 tambourine. <clears throat> this is not expensive at all. Plus, I'm using all strange parts. Uh, parts broken in half and taken from the old uh, ukulele or just weird stuff. You know. Um, anyway, it's just a project. As you can see, it's hanging on the wall there. Now today, what I did was I added new strings, and I added this guy here, uh, just to kind of raise up the strings off the skin of the tambourine, putting a lot less pressure on the bridge on the skin. I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, it seems to sound best when I've got it jibber-jabbered all the way back here. Uh, I'm not sure why, but it does. So. Um, no glue. As you can see on the inside here, this is the other half of the bridge where the strings attached to, broken off from the piece here. It's actually split right in half, right? And the new strings are tied onto this. This again is not glued or screwed or attached whatsoever. It's just coming through one of these openings and then locking into place with the tension of the strings. As you can see also, I took the jingly janglies off, I got them here, just because they were, the rattle was semi-cool, but <clears throat> it kind of overtook the entire ukulele thing. <clears throat> so anyway, as I was saying the other day, I would consider this 100% a success if it made a sound. I would be thrilled to pieces if I could put a tuning on this thing and actually play a song. <clears throat> now. I just put new strings on this, and anybody who's a ukulele player knows what a, a pain in the arse they are for the first four or five days of solid playing um, when you have new strings. They just need to be constantly tightened and tightened and tightened until you get them to just that, that perfect little spot, right? And then they stay in tune forever. But uh, these are brand new strings, so they go out of tune quite a bit. But, that said, this is the tambourine now that I'm playing. There's no support beam here. I don't know if that helps or not or hinders it. Um, so far the neck is holding beautifully hard with just two screws and this block in the back keeping it in place. Um, even swinging it around it hasn't gone out of tune that way. But uh, check it out. I'll give you a little play. Um, and yeah, you can see what you think. Uh, over the next few days I'm going to decide whether I'm going to glue anything because it, this isn't glued or screwed on at all. It's again just the pressure of the strings. This is the pressure of the strings. Uh, no glue here whatsoever. So, do I solidify it and just get a new neck later if I want to make another one, or do I keep it so that I could make it into a different one by just adding another tambourine? Hmm. Tricky. Anyway, let me play a little tune. And you can see the first ever Surant attempt at making a ukulele, let alone a tambourine.
Well, there you go. What do you think?